Hi everyone, my name is Ian Johnson and I'm the Director of Investments here at the Victoria Foundation. I was born in Ottawa and grew up in Ottawa and Belleville, Ontario with a brief here in Winnipeg. I went to Queen's University and after university I went overseas to teach at a college in Kobe, Japan where I survived the Kobe earthquake in 1995. That experience led to very strong bonds with the friends I made there and I ended up spending over a decade in Japan. I came back to Canada in 2007 and landed in Vancouver where I helped launch an investment fund. The fund launched in June 2008, right into the teeth of the great financial crisis, which was a bit of a baptism by fire for me. The ordeal turned out to be a positive in the end, as it provided a perfect stress test for the defensive elements of our investment strategy, and we ended up getting large institutional clients, including Ontario Teachers Pension Plan, Manitoba Teachers Society, and the Jim Pattison Foundation. We also brought on a chief risk officer then, who was the best mentor I ever had. In 2012, our flagship fund was one of three finalists for Morningstar's Best Opportunistic Hedge Fund. I met my wife Megan shortly after that and our daughter Hattie was born in 2014. We were planning for a second child and decided to move to Victoria in 2017 where the housing market was more reasonable and where several of Megan's family had migrated to escape the cold Edmonton winters where she'd grown up. We moved here in the summer of 2017 and our son Ernie was born in November of that year. The island turned out to be an amazing place to live and raise kids and exceeded my expectations by miles. In my wedding speech, I read a quote that said, falling in love is like discovering a concealed ballroom in a home in which you've long lived. That's how I've come to feel about the island, too, as we continue to discover amazing places and meet amazing new people here every year. I joined the Foundation's Volunteer Investment Committee in 2020. As we went through the challenges of COVID, I was very impressed with the staff and the volunteers and the committees, really high quality people who genuinely care. Since I joined the committee in early 2020, most of the initial meetings I had were on Zoom, and I was even more impressed when I came on board full time last year and met everyone in person and got to know them better and work with them more closely. I consider it a great honor to work with the amazing people on the team here, and I'm hoping to do everything I can to help grow and protect the foundation's endowment during my time here.